Happy Monday, everybody. I'm Amy Holmes, bringing you today's hot list at TheBlaze.com. In light of this weekend's temporary deal with Iran to halt its nuclear development, we thought we'd take a closer look at the history of Iran's leaders. Before it was the Islamic Republic, before it was even Iran, the 4,700-year-old country was the Persian Empire, led by kings and queens. But 47 centuries of royalty was overthrown in 1979 by the Ayatollah Khomeini, who took the reins of power in a violent revolution. The new supreme leader imposed Islamic rule, issuing fatwas, condemning the United States as the great Satan, and of course, promising to annihilate Israel. He ruled until his death 10 years later and was replaced by the Ayatollah Khamenei, who as the country's religious authority has more power than the country's president. Which is not to say that Iran has not had some outrageous characters in the elected role, most notably, of course, Holocaust denier Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, who just left the post this year. His successor, Hassan Rouhani, is believed by some in the diplomatic community to represent a more moderate face. Here's what the new president had to say about the deal reached this weekend. The outcome of these negotiations is that the 5 plus 1, or in other words, in, or in other words the world powers, have recognized Iran's nuclear rights. But others contend that Rouhani is merely old wine in a new bottle, that is, if you could drink wine in Iran. Post your comments below and let us know what you think. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.